Men. Today on your Lutheran Live. Have no regrets in la vie. Uh, Edith Piaf, Jim, uh, Russell Crowe certainly doesn't think that was my friend. That was terrible. <laughs> that was like a lot of love. C'est terrible. C'est terrible. <laughs> so the Oscar winning actor admitted to having many regrets, calling them badges of honour and said that he doesn't understand how some people can claim that they don't <clears> have any. Now, many psychologists are now encouraging us to embrace our regrets rather than shunning them, so can they actually be a good thing? I know you're not fond, Janet, so let me speak to Brenda first. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you think about things you regret, Brenda? Yeah, I've, I, I think I'm generally a person who I wish I could go back and do something again a different way. If I had the chance to do it again, I probably would. Um, and I'd probably do it differently with a lot of things. But mostly, I think, for me, with relationships on that side mm. of things where I haven't had the strength to either leave or to stand up for myself, <clears throat> um, I think that that's... I've now learnt after coming out of certain relationships and thinking, I wish I'd have said that or I wish I'd have made that decision sooner or I'd lis listened to people sooner because then I wouldn't have necessarily wasted a load of time yeah. of trying to invest in that and it's just not going to work. I mean, it's interesting because I think, according to research, it is romantic relationships that people have most regrets around in terms of when they look back over their life. Mm. I mean, do you think that you have learned from situations you've been in to change? Because that's why psychologists say it's healthy to look at regrets so that you can perhaps do things differently. <laughs> I don't know differently. if you can say I've learned, because remember, I'm single, so have I learned? Yeah, I'm single. <laughs> so, yeah, I've learned to not have relationships. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. So what about you, Janet? I mean, you, you're not big on regrets, are you? No. no. When we were talking about this earlier, I, so I was annoyed I had to even take part in it. <laughs> <laughs> um, because I think the whole idea of regrets is a re uh, it, it weighs you down. It's like weighing, putting great big weights around that you can't see around your wrists and your ankles and just dragging you back. It's like nostalgia. That's another thing that just ruins your life, going on and on and on about how great life But not if you learn from them. I mean, have you not looked back at past no. behaviours? No. Okay. No. <laughs> no. No. What, any no. of your past behaviours? No. 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 I like the way I am. I'm like one of those pots that's a bit of a gargoyle, a bit lumpen and weird. But this is the way I am and this is the way that I've ended up and I don't see the point in changing. But you have, you have said, you're, re you're really honest, Janet, and you have said that sometimes in the past you have oh. not behaved well in relationships. Well, I behaved appallingly. So I, really, I, I freely but admit... But she doesn't regret it. But would I you not rather it. change that? No, because if I'd, re if I'd changed it and stayed with the people that I behaved appallingly to, I wouldn't have had such a good life, cos, obviously, um, <laughs> there was, you know, they were out the door Janet. and another one was... In. Coming in. <laughs> like, a, like a weather vane. <laughs> a turnstile. Uh, well, weather vane <laughs> implies that you go from, you know, good weather to bad weather. And what I tend to think is everybody starts off really nice and yeah. then things kind of outlive their usefulness. Mm. Yeah. Um, yes, I do. I, I do have regrets, but I have... Yeah, I do. I, I believe with, in Russell Crowe that, that it's very hard not to have regrets. I don't regret really anything romantically who I was with, who I wasn't with, I don't regret that. But I regret things I did in addiction that affected my family and particularly my eldest son, I would imagine, who probably witnessed things that he shouldn't have. And um, I, you know, we're fine, we're incredibly close, so, you know, the result of it is... Yeah. And I wish... I say to myself often, I wish I'd given up drinking drugs um, earlier, but I was trapped in a depressive cycle and I was self-medicating, so there are no excuses for behaviours, but there are, are reasons for it. But then again, Lincoln says to me, yeah, but if you had, we wouldn't be together, and he's yeah. the love of my life, and my marriage is so important to me. So, you know, there, there is resolve, but, but I, I had to work through... Guilt and shame are very different. I but, think we all have yeah. guilt. Shame is very different, Let's and I did have a lot of shame about things, things I did and people I hurt. But mm. I, I think what you've said is great, I do look at what I've do, done and I analyse it and I know when I've made a mistake, but I'm not dwelling on it. 
So, yeah. But that's yeah. not a regret. But you're also I'm not ruthlessly learning from top. it. You know, and I'm not saying that in a judgmental way, but yeah. you, oh. it's not that you oh. use it to change. There's a terrible that's blue huge. bottle that oh. come in. Right. Well, the most fabulous weekend. <laughs>